All right, here we go. We're live. Flo Tagano. It's nearly complete. Look at this. Look at all this useless eye candy. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. It gives me the feeling of like I'm actually on a rocky coast somewhere, some scrubby desert island. Okay, so it's meant to be played on large or giant size maps. Let's check the giant size again. It looks like I was somehow mysteriously missing gold, but maybe it was just an illusion. Got to make sure the players get all their resources. That's important. So we got the llamas, the forests. Yeah, these players don't have any player assigned resources other than food. It's bizarre. That is really strange. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see what the cause is. So, do they have the orange bush? Mm, no. Neither one has the orange bush, so at least it's fair. Uh, and they don't have the primary golds or the primary stones. So, DLC orange bush, gold stone, gold, gold stone. Here it is. They don't have it. Why not? They're avoiding each other by six, which should be reasonable. There is no terrain that they are specified that they need to be placed on. So that's helpful and convenient. But bizarre. What? Why? Is there, could there be something before that is blocking them somehow? Can't be. Maybe I just need to restart the game. I don't know, this is, this is weird. They're all the way down here. You know, there is a lot of stuff to get in the way. They do have the geese. Um, so let's see if we've got anything in mid-distance group placement here. No. Okay, good, because that's a pretty powerful category. Temp mid-distance group placement. 8 and 24. <coughs> Um, so let's copy this seed number down, and uh, we'll just try restarting the game, because I can't see anything that would cause these, these resources to fail to spawn. But other than that, the map is looking really, really gorgeous. We have to put the storks in, and we have to enable the nomad configuration, and basically we'll be done. I can't think of anything else to do besides that. We even have these, um the resources on uh, the type of terrain that will force players to not build low elo legend mining camps. So you can't build a mining camp directly on the beach here, as far as I know. So you should have to build the mining camp yeah, right here, which is the perfect spacing. Um, all right, let's copy this seed down, and we'll just try restarting the game, because I did leave the game running for a few hours, so maybe it maybe it bugged out or something. Who knows? All right. We might have a few more decorations to add. We're, we're basically done with this. <clears throat> I, showed, I shared a draft version of this with Cesar, and he was very excited about it. Cesar said he wanted it to be a desert... Desert biome, so that's what we gave him. There's four relics on the island, two assigned to each player. Of course, we can make balance tweaks as needed. Okay. So, the seed number is negative seven. 
five eight seven nine nine five one. All right, and then let's restart the game real quick, you guys, and see what happened. So we are going to close that. Let's just check our mods. Yeah, the mods are fine. And then we're going to be looking for playtesters for this and for the zoo. Toa Toa sent me a uh, his finished script for the zoo, so we're going to test that out for him as well. Okay. So let us... I don't think there's anything left to add except for the stork. We could add a couple vultures, too. But it's mostly going to be storks, I think, because it's an estuary, and that's what storks are all about. So, stork. Okay, so it's just DLC stork. Object quantity, we'll delete that. Storks. <laughs> we have some a very large group quantity here, more than we could ever fill the map with. And uh, they don't need a radius. We don't need anything here. Uh, sure, we'll scale them the map size. We will not... Actually, we will restrict them to being over the mangrove shallow. Um, we're not going to give them a forest distance, but we're going to give them a very large min distance group placement, so probably like... I don't know. Um... 64. It should be reasonable. Maybe a little less. 32. Lots and lots of storks. We don't need that. And uh, then we'll copy this. And you know what? Let's not restrict it to mangrove shallow. Because they're flying. They're going to be everywhere. And uh, we want DLC... Vulture. Vultures are the ultimate desert bird. And then we'll put a couple of odd skeletons for dead animals on there and such. Some vases. Some other generic desert decorations. But this is supposed to be a desert in South America. So we're not going to put things like uh, camels or, um, or water buffalo or zebras. Okay. Um, so we're going to look for Vulture. Yeah, it's just DLC Vulture. And spacing for these is, these boys is going to be 64. We should still have more than we can ever use. Alright. So let's come over here into the editor. And let's punch in that seed number and we'll generate it and we'll see if a good restart was able to resolve the issue. Because I don't want to kill myself over nothing. Okay. Flotagano. Giant size. The large size worked fine. It was the giant size that didn't work fine. You know, I've actually had this bug before and now that I'm thinking about it. So we'll punch in this seed, and um, negative seven five eight seven nine nine five one. Yeah, the resources are just missing. That is bizarre. So let's 
do something where we increase the number of players to eight players now. And we'll generate it again. I've seen this before. I bet the resources appear. Yep, they're there. No idea. No blooming idea. It's a lot more desert, though. All right. We'll ignore it for now, but we'll keep this seed number copied down. What else do we want? I guess we want some vases that are uh, close to the town center for decoration. And we want some a shipwreck for each player. So we'll give them a shipwreck of each kind, some skeletons, and then we'll put some vases under the town center. Sorry, it's just so beautiful. I'm thinking maybe I'm a little light on the green. Need to scale back the the blue masking. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. So we put all the birds in. Let me check to see if there are any more animals that we want to put in. Don't think so. Let's put in the animal skeleton. I'm trying to do neutrals first. Um, pretty much got everything else. Yeah. I keep looking for things to do, but it's basically done. We can't really put the mountains in because there's just no place to put them. We don't have any land masses large enough where we have the, you know, we have the budgeted space. If we put the mountains in on the player islands, they'd be a, they'd be a big portion of it. They'd be in the way. So we can't really do that. Oops. There we go. So let's put down the animal skeletons. Let's go up the constant for that. So not that skeleton. DLC animal skeleton. All right. I don't think there was any space. These are going to be neutral Gaia convertible. And we're just going to have these be on the desert. And their spacing is going to be something like, I don't know, something like 16. We don't need that many of them. All right. So we need, we have two shipwrecks. We're going to need those. Shipwreck and shipwreck two. So we'll copy all this and then change what we need. So each player is going to get two shipwrecks here. Uh, we are going to place on non nadwill Rock Beach. And the layer that we're going to place on is actually going to be GW for green water. So that will put the shipwrecks 
somewhere on this green water here. And we'll tell them to avoid the town center by a certain distance. We could tell them to avoid the invisible placeholder that makes up the scrabble by a certain distance as well. But that might be too powerful. The shipwrecks are not that important. Um, I'm just thinking, we do have a placeholder on this green water already, but I don't think that we're going to use it, because if we did, the shipwreck would appear anywhere along the beach here, which is not really what we're going for. So we'll see what it comes up with first. I think if we make it slightly larger, it won't be able to spawn in this circle. It'll have to be somewhere out here. All right. <clears throat> we don't need any of these. We don't need that. Um, we only need one of each. And these are actually going to be player assigned. Gaia convertible. They're not going to convert them because they're shipwrecks. But we don't need to specify that they're unconvertible because they're shipwrecks. So let's cut this and paste it up here. And our town center is up here somewhere. Oh, it's our first one, actually. That's right. So, we'll copy this. And we will uh, maybe place within 12 and, or place within 16 and, oh, well, no, 14. And we'll have it avoid by 12. And I think we can only do that with one thing. So we'll have them both do that. I don't really care too much if these shipwrecks are right next to each other. I don't think they're going to overlap. And we need some skeletons to be placed within these next to these shipwrecks. So we'll go skeleton. Skeleton. Alright, and these are going to be neutral Gaia convertible. And they're going to be placed around these shipwrecks, so we can copy this. And we will not place these restrictions. And instead of placing around 1, we're going to place around, um, well, 100. Technically 98. And. Okay. 98. And we'll go like within 3, maybe, outside of 1. I think that's fine. And we'll do the same thing down here. And we don't have a number of groups, but we're going to have a large temp and distance group placement of like two or something. And then I'll just throw 9320 at it. We are not going to scale these by map size. This is going to be scaled by none. And instead of 94 or 98, this is going to be down here for this other shipwreck. This one pertaining to. Okay. There we go. Like that. And then I think we just have <clears throat> the vases. So let's look up their constant ID. Okay, they're just DLC vases, that's fine.
player assigned guy convertible. That's fine. We're gonna have three groups. So we don't want to center them around the shipwrecks, though. We want to center them around the town center again. So we'll copy that. All right. Uh, we do not need to scale these. <clears throat> the number of groups for this. And we don't need a grouping type because they are groups of one. And we're going to have them be placed at least four apart. And these ones are going to be placed within, let's say, four, but outside of three tiles. Well, no. We'll do like two. Oops. Between four, two and four tiles from the town center. All right, let's, let's update our script now. Okay. So we're going to tell it to uh, crunch these auto objects. It's thinking about it. Processing. All right, it's all set. Let's see how we did. Maybe the shipwrecks are too far away from the town centers. Which in that case, we'll have to open the window up. Okay, there they are. A couple of shipwrecks. And they are actually indeed quite close. Which is unfortunate. Let's see if they're all that close. I don't see the skeletons anywhere. Okay, the vases appear properly. Looks like these could reasonably down, be down here to help the villagers catch some some fish and put them in the water in the bases. Keep them alive until they're ready to eat them. Okay, these are fine. But I would like these shipwrecks to be spaced out a little bit more nicely. And it looks like the skeletons are not being placed properly. Just something else that we need to look at. Oh, uh, we need to check for the animal skeletons. I don't see any. Ah, uh, okay, here they are. Here's one. And here's another. Okay, so some big animals died. They almost look like elephant skeletons, though. They, you know, they kind of look like they don't belong. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it could be something different? Let me know what you think. Now these might look like crocodiles, but they're actually boars. That simply look like crocodiles. These are supposed to be javelinas, though. Yeah, two shipwrecks right next to each other. Ugh, I don't like it. So I have no choice but to do the shipwrecks differently. And no skeletons either. Now let's generate this on giant size and see if the player resources decided that they wanted to spawn again. Yep, they decided, okay, we're going to spawn this time. This is different. Now that I put these bases and shipwrecks in, they spawn. Bizarre. But that's how it is. 
One, two, and three. Oof, this is a brutal wall off over here. But that's what's going to make this map fun. All right. So, as far as we know, the only thing to fix is the shipwrecks. Maybe the reason they're so close together is because that window is too tight. Maybe I need to open that window up. It still doesn't explain why the skeletons didn't didn't appear properly, though. 94. Yeah, 94 should be the shipwreck. Avoiding by one and being placed... Uh, you know, maybe this Tentman distance group placement is too large for these skeletons. Maybe they need one. All right, now let's tell the shipwrecks to avoid potentially by 14, but it could be as small as 8. I don't think we can tell them to avoid each other. But I don't know that I'm willing to do it any other way. So we'll generate this real quick. All right. It's all set. It's a little better. Still, no skeletons. We've got to be missing something. We're not restricting the terrain type of the skeletons. Can skeletons not be placed on... The skeletons shouldn't have any terrain restrictions. Um... I could get rid of this. I don't, I don't know. I don't think that's going to solve it. Maybe they really do need to be player assigned, player convertible, because each the player is getting skeletons for each of their things. Player assigned, Gaia convertible. And then in that case, oops, let's put three skeletons around each shipwreck. Actually, let's put four for good measure. I like to think more this island was, uh, they, they, they really cared about colonizing this island. Okay. Let's run the object auto scribe again. All right, it's all set. There we go. All right, there are the skeletons. a little disturbing. We could pull them slightly closer to the shipwreck, I think, to make it a, a bit more obvious. That shipwreck is all the way... They made it pretty far. Some skeletons around it. But most of the valid space is going to be out here. Is there a good way to prevent them from being close to, eh, 
No, I just I just don't think I I don't think it matters enough. I don't think it's you know I don't think it's worth it. So we'll pull them in one. Ship uh, skeletons. Just move this to two. The vases look good. Is there anything else that we want to do? I don't think so. I don't think that this fish is accessible from the shore. Try to keep these deep fish far away. I considered giving them more. Uh, still not succeeding completely. I could give these deep fish an avoidance to the placeholder, the gravel placeholder, which is probably the right thing to do as well. So let me keep this seed and we'll focus on this deep fish right here. So he's on the bottom tip of Cyan and Purple's island here. So we'll keep this seed. It's incidentally enough, the one that we've had the whole time. And let's, let's adjust the deep fish here. So it should, should just be fish. Oh, shoot, we need to make them salmon. We agreed to make them salmon. So we'll change that too. Fish is just perch. So we'll make them salmon. So they are avoiding 3, 4, 5, 6, and 22. All by 3. What is 22? All oh, right, 22 is. Uh, Another on grid placeholder. So three. Okay, they are not avoiding the desert gravel placeholder. So let's let's have them avoid A six and A twenty six. Uh no. A6, A26, there we go. And we'll have them avoid the first one by, let's say, 10. Now it's not as, maybe not as precise, but we will give that a try, see what we can do with that. I mean, what's, the, the desert gravel placeholder is only four apart, so it should be a relatively precise method. All right, let's run it. How are we on memory, by the way? Budget. Open file location. So we're about 1.2 megabytes. So it's actually not that bad, which is good. Their files are generally pretty large. All right. So we're going to look down here to see if this fish gets moved further away from this boundary. And I hope the answer is yes. Of course, it's going to reset the view, I think, to the middle. Come on, big money. No whammy. OK, problem solved. Look at that. There are no fish at all. Actually, here's one. <laughs> All right, well, that's probably a little harsh. Maybe we can dial it back by to 9 and see if that looks a little bit better. Now, there was something else that we changed to. What was that? I think that was further down in the script. So, where is our salmon? Okay, let's go to 9.
Oh, right, the skeletons. We pulled them to be in a little bit tighter, a little bit closer to the shipwreck, so it was more obvious what was going on. And yes, it indeed looks like that is the case. Okay. All right, let's um, let's run it. So we dialed that sp that spacing to the desert gravel placeholder, the avoidance from ten to nine. And if that is still too much, we can take it down one more. But we did have some fish spawning, so we know we're close. I if it's not nine, it'll be eight, I think. Okay, it's all set. It kind of kills me, you know, there's not a lot of fish in this estuary. An estuary should be teeming with life. But hey, I don't want fish to be overpowered. What can I say? Okay, looking a little bit better. Still missing out on some fish here. And we got some fish here. I wonder if we have... We probably still have the forest distance for those fish. All right, let's try. Let's try eight, but we might have to leave it at nine. This is looking a little close already, but we are. We're we're super 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 close to this and that's that makes it's making me excited because I worked hard on this I remember when it was just four hexagons on the mini map and I was like I assure you Cesar this is going to be a real map someday and I think maybe he was skeptical he thought I was just fooling around no no it was just the beginning. This is the pinnacle of Tech Chariot mapping right here. This is the revolution I want to have. Alright, it's all set. Let's generate. This is a little bit closer, but I think it's fine. These rocks are in the way. Can I even place villagers here? Even if I could, they couldn't build a mill here. It would have to be like back here. No. in theory a villager could get over here but it would be it would be very inefficient I don't think they I don't think the player would do it still I think I'm going to go back to 9 and I'm going to reduce the spacing between these these deep fishes so there's more opportunities for them to spawn in certain places. All right. So let's go down. Let's go back to 9. I think 9 is the right number. And we will decrease this from 4 to 3. And let's take a look and see how that how that is.
All right. Fish won't be so much getting in their own way. Yeah, that's that's better. That's fine. Really? Come on. Come on. All right. Well, then we'll give it a couple of different avoidances. So, in addition to having it avoid those, we'll have it avoid whatever's on this unbuildable rock beach here. URB. We'll have it avoid these by three again. Yeah. Uh, except we'll select A instead of B. Because A is the actual number, and that's what the program can understand. All right, and that means we need to add some more threes. One, two, three. And we'll be specifically checking over here next to the red player to make sure that this fish gets moved further away. So we have the power. We have basically unlimited power, actually, to place objects at our fingertips. So let's do it right. I don't want anybody complaining that, oh, players got free fish. It's the fastest food collection in the game. What are you doing? It's not fair. Yep. Much better. No fish over here, though. So maybe we'll re what we'll do is we'll reduce the desert back down to... Eight, and we'll leave those those at three, and so they'll kind of compensate for each other. Where are we? All right. And I think we're going to be done with that. So let's run it one last time, and then check. And uh, I promise I'll be happy with the results, unless I'm not. And then we'll keep tweaking things. So we will need to configure the low resources configuration after this, but that's quite simple. This should be walkable here, which it looks like it is. It's nice. Just a little land bridge, if you will. You don't get stuck in the corner if you don't have ships. All right. See if we get a few more fish to pop up this way. Looks like that's all set. So let's generate it. That'll be alright. There's really not that many deep fish. But it'll be okay. It'll be okay. It's a lot of a lot of shallows fish though, shore fish. Okay. So I'm gonna call that good. Then, in that case, oops, 
come over here to Flautigano and we will we will duplicate this tab. Uber copy sheet. We'll move it to the end position and we will call it low resources. And these, all of these uh, objects will be generated in the case of low resources. Except we are going to get rid of the town center. So we'll still have the player assigned objects and everything. So we'll have player owned gold and stuff. The players just won't be there. Um, and we will, where are the deer? Or the, not the deer, the sheep. Everything that's player owned, we're going to get rid of, basically. So, the scout we can get rid of. We don't need him. And we could leave the geese. That would be fine. Actually, let's get rid of the, let's get rid of the main geese. And we'll get rid of the villagers, too, actually. So we'll get rid of the villagers. Get rid of these three. Delete rows. Okay, we will come down here and we will need to renumber these. So like, let's delete that for now. Let's take this and we'll cut this out. Paste this down here. So we're going to need that later. And delete this. Now here comes the big question. Do we give the players control of a transport ship starting out so that they could transport to the main islands? That is an interesting question I've been thinking about. And I think I think the answer is no for now. I want them to colonize the starting islands later. Possibly, potentially. However, if we gave them the transport, it would increase the likelihood of a ridiculous situation where somebody does indeed colonize the starting island and then gets stuck there. And we always love our ridiculous situations as well. So let us redo these numbers. Um, but we'll leave it. We'll leave off the transport ship for now. We're going to give players three villagers. Um, so we'll give three three groups. Grouping type. Loose doesn't matter, and we're not going to avoid any kind of actor areas or anything like that. We are, however, going to specify that they must be placed on DLC Mangrove Shallow. And I don't, because basically everything else is going to be identical. So I don't think there's any, yeah, there's no way for the villagers to get trapped if they're as long as they're on Mangrove Shallow. Because they can walk on everything. There are no trees to trap them. Still give them avoidance distance forest zone too. Just to be sure. So let's do that. And if we find that people aren't spawning like they're supposed to. Forest distance too. Uh, Tentman distance group placement. Let's give them um, 20. And let's give them now min distance group placement of 20. So avoid everything. And then we're going to run this, and it will assign a find closest, which will then delete so that the villagers will be scattered appropriately. And I think that's basically good for now. You know what the heck? Let's um let's give that transport ship out. Let's do it. I want to see it happen. Transport ship. Player signed, player owned. Copy all this. It's gonna be on DLC Mangrove Shallow somewhere. And again, we're going to get rid of the find closest, and you can use the transport ship as a scout early on. Um, although the Sicilian scout would be pretty OP.
We had the same problem for the King of Ireland tournament. And the Sicilian free transport ship is no more. They replaced it with a different a different object. Hmm. Let's maybe it's still in here somewhere, maybe it's a different number. It's formerly the Sicilian Free Transport. Yeah, it's now an Arumi Swordsman. That sucks. Do the Sicilians still even have that team bonus? Let's check. Because if they don't have it, then I'm worrying about nothing. I think it's a kind of a ridiculous bonus, but... Oh yeah, that's what I was afraid of. They have plus five line of sight. That's ridiculous. Um, all right. Well, we could we could do that whole Gaia conversion trick. So maybe we maybe we put the villager later. The villager afterward. Because this min distance group placement is a very powerful attribute. We don't need this because each player is just going to get one. Um, we will give the transport ship two, however. And we should give it a min distance group placement, but it'll be small. It'll be something like 10. Oh, shoot, we can't. Oh, yeah, we can. All right. So we're going to we're gonna have the transport ship be neutral Gaia convertible. And then before the transport ship, we're going to put in our placeholder. So we'll put in our player flag. We'll delete the flag, and, um, yeah, it'll be fine. Actually, it can't be neutral. It's got to be player-assigned, player-owned, or player-assigned, guy convertible, rather. All this work for a transport ship. I think it'll be worth it, though. Okay. We could give the transport ship the same terrible line of sight, too, which I think is the right thing to do. Okay. Flag A. Player assigned. Gaia. Gaia no. Player assigned. Player owned. We'll put it on Mangrove Shallow. So these transport ships will actually appear close to your starting point. Oh, um, there aren't going to be any shipwrecks or skeletons or bases because there was no landing. So we can get rid of those, simplify things slightly. Your transport ship did not land. It did not crash. Okay, and uh, now we're going to take this copy that, paste it down here, and we'll adjust this for flag A. Come on. And we will make the active area radius zero. So it's essentially placed exactly on top. So this must be placed on top of this flag A, this villager base F, and they'll be placed yeah, that's fine. All right. Yep, let's do that. I don't think I have anything more to add to this. 
So we'll need to go into the code. And we're going to say modifying starting transport ship. Gaia set attribute. Transport ship. Attribute. Line of sight, I believe, and we're going to set the line of sight equal to one. And then we're going to delete our flag. So modifying, uh, deleting, starting flag A. Set attributes, flag A, ATTR hit points, zero. All right, I think that should do it. Let's look it up in Zetnis's guide just to make sure. Check them out. ATTR hit points. So that's correct. So this is correctly killing the flag. And then. ATTR line of sight. There it is. Okay. So we got that one right too. Then I think we're good to go. Okay. Well, there's only one way to there's only one way to test this situation, the low resources, we have to go and into a single player and try it out that way. Make sure that it works. So here we go. Wish me luck. Oh, I guess first thing we should do is we should run this updated code, right? Got it all saved and ready to go. So it's actually going to run it twice. It'll run it once for each tab, so it'll say so. First tab is it'll compute else, and then the first, and then actually it might compute low resources first. It's going to compute both of them, and then it'll put them in the correct order. All right, so it is going to do else configuration first, consisting of two sheets. So it found both sheets, and it's processing objects for low resources configuration. Um, error evaluating partial expression for end. What? Object auto scribe V8 sheet scribe 679 column 39. What? How can that be? How can this have an error? Did I accidentally type in here somewhere? All right, where is where is she? Is is that is that indeed correct? Oh, I really hope it's not that.
sheet scribe. So, which should be part of this file. 679. So I need to find the next sheet scribe. Okay, here it is. Oh, all right. So annoying. There isn't some kind of mistake, is there here? What happens if I put low resources first? I'll just try rerunning it. I really don't feel like debugging that tonight. Oh, come on. All right, so something about the data is incorrect. Something about the data is incorrect or incompatible. Um, did we mess these numbers up somehow? Let's see. How many are how many are there? How many does it count? 92 rows and yet it's going up to 90. Wait a second. Eighty nine up to ninety five. Yeah, that's the problem. All right. Um, Okay, uh, that should that should process correctly. That's the big problem with this. It's so easy to overlook. But we have the incorrect numberings, and it's not going to run properly. <laughs> hey, T-Bomber, how's it going? When is Age of Zo Zoology? Whenever the guinea pigs show up. All right, it says it's done. So that's good. It was just a numbering issue from deleting stuff and then not refreshing the, the numbers properly. So we need to go into the file, though, because there is a known bug, which I have not fixed yet, which is... Um, villager base F find closest so this is in the low resources configuration and um, we need to get rid of this find closest here and let's do that for the transport ship too I'm working on Flotagano right now T-Bomber until everybody shows up or until we get enough people showing up. I promised uh, Toa Toa that I would uh, help test the zoo, which is a script that he made. Okay, but without without players, I could not do that, so I decided to work on Flotagano some more. But I'm at a pretty good spot, stopping point. Alright, so let's remove those find closest, because I have no way of preventing them from being written at the time, even though I don't want them in a Nomad configuration. Alright, now let's go over here to single player and we will test it.
So Flotagano, uh, let's do eight players just for more data, the purposes of more data. And, all right, I'm going to be on team one with this dude. And the resources are going to be low, so it should be the Nomad spawn. And let's start. Let's lock our teams, though. And we need to make sure that team positions are checked. Team team together doesn't do anything. Well, I guess team positions can't be checked if teams aren't together. That's cute. All right, and giant size is the proper size. Oh, that reminds me, we need to configure Regicide. Let's hope that our villagers and our transport ship are not spaced too far apart or too close. Uh oh. Oh, I had nothing spawn. That's not good. Um. So it refused to place the villagers or the transport ship for me. Which is unfortunate. Why is that? So these are all of the arguments. Oh, this is on find closest. So we should get rid of that. All right, let's try restarting now. I didn't think that would do it. So we at least know where our flag would have been. Would have been right there. Everybody is defeated. Um, what? We're avoiding actor area 140. Oh no, we need to place within actor area to place in. That needs to be 140, and let's change that in the spreadsheet. All right, that's not gonna, it's not gonna solve our problem. So much stuff here. They don't want to place on mangrove shallow. What's going on with that? Avoid forest zone by one. Let's get rid of these min distance group placements and see what happens. I'm allowing cheats, that's nice. It still just will not place them. I have Burmese on my team so I can see where all the relics are. 
Well, okay, at least the transport ships are going down. So that's progress. I think we'll increase that min distance to like, or we'll change it to like five. So we'll come over here and we'll change that. Eh, let's make it six. And so we'll min distance replacement six. And maybe we'll do create object on grid. And then second object will be villager base F. Villager base F. All right. Yes. Salve. Sign. All right. Correct. Progress. Except we only have. We only have two. Oh no no no. We have three. Press. Correct. Sign. Okay. Good. Um. Wait a second. Who's only got? Okay. Did Red no, no, not? Me. Okay. Does Red not have? Hey. What happened to Red's transport ship? Does Red not have a transport ship? Let's go in and watch the wreck and see what happened to Red's transport. Wait. Alright, well... Does someone have two transport ships? F9 must be Gaia. So it looks like a couple people did not get transport ships. We need to figure out why. Hey, Cesar, how's it going? Yeah, so a couple players did not get transport ships. Um, it's like it, it failed to convert. Maybe we should get rid of this avoid force zone one. That would be better, perhaps. I'm doing well. I'm just testing the low resources configuration. So we'll get rid of avoid force zone for the transport ship. See if that does the trick. All right. Let's restart. Oh, we need to put in Nomad resources, too, for the low resources configuration. Alright, so I have four population. They have four, they have four, four. These people only have three. Villager. Yeah. Villager. All right. Um. What's going on? So his his flag appeared properly. So his flag was there. Why did it not convert? It did not result in the transport ship being converted. Why?
why did this transport ship fail to get converted? But wherever So this transport ship was converted successfully. Could it be that there's no sheep nearby? That's why it didn't convert it. Hmm. transport ship is more important. You know, the other problem with the transport ship is what if it gets... What if it does get trapped, you know, in one of these little pockets? I don't think it's likely, but it's possible, I suppose. Um, well, we could maybe restrict the transport ship's terrain to, um, water, non-interactable, and see what that does. I think all water, non-interactable is, like, there's no water, non-interactable that's locked off. So maybe that's what we need to do. Terrain to place on, WNI, water, non-interactable. All right. Oh, uh, and let's do the same thing for this flag, too. Hey, Zerg is here. Welcome. Alright, so WNI and WNI. This might require a placeholder, though, but I don't think so. <clears throat> I think flags can be placed anywhere. Um, let's try it. That's not on water, not interactable. What? Did I not change it? No, I changed it. Uh, I guess, you know, I guess it, it is actually. That's right, because there's... Yep. Alright, so now we're going to go check and see that... Alright, this player only has... What is this player? player still did not get their transport. It's supposed to be right there. But it just does not convert it for whatever reason. Straggler Tree V says, do we have enough people for the map now? Uh, what do you mean? Or any of y'all want to try a new map? Oh, we're always looking to try new maps. Well, we could try putting this flag a uh, as a second object. <coughs> second object flag A. And we could try it again. Almost done with this. Oh, T-Bomber says, the map is a 1v1 map, so we only need to find two willing participants of the same ELO whenever you're done. Ah, uh, yes, okay. I think I know what you're talking about. So we have four. Um, okay. Three. 
So we had the flag show up properly, but it's not it's not converting the transport ship for some reason. And I will have to figure out I'll have to figure that out another day. These guys really want to try the zoo. So let's go take a look at the zoo. We will figure that out another day. It's too bad too. I was I was pretty close, but we're probably not going to have time to play both tonight anyway. So let's take a look. At the zoo. All right. So this was made by a friend of mine, and I promised him that we would test it on stream. And uh, when I started the stream, there weren't enough people able to test. But now it looks like we've got some participation. So we got some elephants, some deer, some bears. Bears love berries. Some wolves, nice, and stone. I bet I bet the zookeeper would say that this exhibit is not well suited for Lion One though. He would probably be like, Lion One does not like the gold mine. But you can't just give your gold away, right? You gotta have lions guarding it. We got a ring of wood around the outside, and we have baobab trees on the inside. So you um you have a nomad start here, and it looks like you have some idea about what the different animals are and the different options for resources. And then you bust your way into the walls to go and take the resources. So it looks cute. Looks like fun. There are some patches of broken road here, but it's nothing too organized. However, we will try it. And the best thing about it is that these lands are random, so you don't necessarily know, you know where the gold and where the rhinos are going to be and all that good stuff. Uh, looks like we got some goats, though. So these goats have escaped their exhibit. Cesar says, thanks once again for putting so much time, work, and enthusiasm on Flotagono. No problem, Cesar. I figured out a long time ago that if you really loved what you did, that uh, people would be happy with you. So I just promised myself that I would only do what I loved. So that I would be happy. Alright. Let's test it. Who have we got for challengers? Who wants to help me test this good looking map? No hills on the map. So we will wrap up Flotagono tomorrow. It looks like the transport ship is giving us a little bit of an issue. But if you're interested in testing this map, let me know. Depending on the players that are available, we will, we're going to do a 1v1 because that's what the author recommends. And um, I, I can be included in the list of people to, to play on it. So you guys think about that. I'll be right back. i got to refill my water. And we'll check the chat here. And we'll select a challenger. Or we'll select challengers in chat or myself who are similar ELOs. And then we'll test it.
Okay. Let's go. Let's go T bomber. So we have to do a couple of things. Since I will be playing on the map, I will need to enable cubes mod so that I can see everything. See everything with the resources necessary to defeat T bomber as an opponent. So let me restart my game. Okay. We'll see if I can beat T-Bomber. <clears throat> so, uh, Straggler Tree V, tell me what the most broken sieve on this map is. Oh, come on. Just start. Start already. You haven't tried it yet. All right. Well, we'll just go random sibs then. That's fine. I don't care if you could sync my files. I don't know why it always does that. Okay. Let's invite T-Bomber. Alright, T-Bomber said something about a tornado blowing by so his internet might drop. Well, I think that sounds like a, a contingency plan. In case I win. Alright, we're going to do tiny size and we're going to do the zoo. We have the park, but we don't have the zoo. The park was made by Jaw Zero Zero. Uh, Alright. Actually, let's just search for it. Zoo. Search takes forever, though, for whatever reason. Okay, here we go. I think this is a very creative map. Put extreme AI difficulty so the wolves are on point. Uh, let's get rid of... Yeah, okay, no regicide. Lock speed, lock teams, team together. We don't need that. No treaty length. Starting age standard. Hey, Pyramid, how's it going? Okay, so we're going to help out. We're helping out a friend of ours, Toa Toa. And uh, we're testing a map that he made. So, I think we've got everything that we want here. Oh, right, handicap. So we'll give T-Bomber a little bit of handicap to uh, account for the ELO discrepancy. T-Bomber is a little under 1,200, and we are mid-1,300. Uh, having said that, though, this is not a clown map. But I guess maybe it could be. I don't know. Good luck. Have fun. Um, Start the game already! 
Oh, you guys know each other? Cesar and Pyramid know each other? What is the basic rundown of this map? I explained it. Um, but what is this map about? So it is Land Nomad, but uh, it has a ring of wood around the outside. Yeah, it has a ring of wood around the outside, and all the, the resources, most of the resources, are contained in little pens in the center. Yep. Okay. Good luck, have fun. Let's go. It's gonna be fun. I haven't played T-Bomber in a while. He might beat me. If he beats me, I'll just blame the handicap. And if I beat him, he'll blame the tornado. Oh, Hindustanis versus Koreans. I'm looking for the uh, for the stone. Ah. Nice. Look at how much vision my villagers have. Good stone. Toyo Couple of boars there. Slam I definitely want something over here. What's in this bag? No. Ah, T bomber. He's a what? He has a he has a a bad password. What the heck? Do I have one of those? Oh, I do. Shoot, it's faster than me too. Ah, Alright, and now I have a scout. That was close. Alright, I need to build my town center. Like it's probably a terrible town center location, but that's fine. As long as we can see stone, we'll be happy. Yeah. This guy could be, uh, could be OP. Toyo? Marco. Cesar says, nope, just saying hi, it's a Spanish name. Cesar, are you profiling Pyramid? Okay, well, it, the good news is we, I, it looks like we busted the petting zoo out of jail. So I'm gonna be housed as soon as this town center goes up, actually. Oh, nice. He is what allows me to get into the different uh, pens. I understand. Oh, they only have 10 HP, though. Villagers should still be able to bust yeah. through. The bad password is the only thing that can kill walls until you build army. Oh, really? How about that? Yeah. Yeah. Sure, villagers can kill these two. And TC arrow fire. Oh yeah, you're right. Villagers can't kill it. 
그러죠. 네. 이동. 그러죠. 저요? 재직군. 대기. 네. 이동. 네. 그러죠. 이동. 목수. 저요? 출동. 그러죠. 네. 이동. 네. 그러죠. 네. 그러죠. 네. 사냥꾼. 예? 이동. 목수. I don't know what T bomber is doing, but. 저요? 아 대기. 재직군. 예. 그러죠. 목수. 재직군. 준비. 그러죠. 재직군. 예? 이동. 그러죠. 예. 나무꾼. 예? 목수. What's he doing in there? Is he just gonna lay my boar? That would be pretty funny. He would have to wall his villager in the door. 예? 채직군. 채직군. 준비. 출동. 사냥꾼. 네. 이동. 네. 목수. 목수. 출동. 이동. 네. 이동. 출동. 목수. 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 저요? 실시. 이동. 예. 목수. 목수. 대기. Oh, this is too funny. 대기. 목수. 준비. 예? 목수. 준비. 사냥꾼. So T bomber is gonna kill them for me. <웃음> oh, what's he doing? Is he gonna try to get the boars outside and then snag them with another villager? 저요? 준비. 사냥꾼. 예? 사냥꾼. 사냥꾼. Oh, we got a pause from the T bomber. How do you open the walls? Swordsman. Or TC fire. So how does T-Bomber open walls then? Alright, GG. Wait, he doesn't have a TC? He should have at least a TC. Oh, his TC is not in range. Alright, let's do something different <coughs> with this code. Alright, hang on, T-Bomber. I will modify it quick, and then we play again. Uh, you know, he lost his Arumi, he lost his swordsman because his swordsman attacked my villagers and then my villagers ganged up on it and killed it barely. So then he was unable to get into the walls. I will enable that. So let's, yeah, let's modify this, this program or this script. And I think this should work. <clears throat> All right, so T-Bomber, he needs to come back. All right. He can kill walls by building army, but if you're in Dark Age and you have nothing, then that will be a problem. So, I have an idea. Go to the zoo. Yo yo is here. Excellent. So first thing that we need to do is let's get rid of that swordsman because there is too big of a risk that somebody's villager gets caught by it by itself. The swordsman killed it, and then a pro is starting with two villagers instead of three, and he'll throw a fit if he loses, and they'll never allow it. So let's let's get rid of that swordsman first. And then what we'll do is we'll actually make the palisade walls we'll make them out of outposts that are upgraded and I think the villagers can still attack them. So 
gatekeeper. Oh, this is that guy. All right, so we'll get rid of that. And we'll get, we're not going to need this. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll keep this. Gate keeper. So we'll get rid of that. And where are the zoo walls? Here they are. Create object. And we're going to change this to outpost. Yeah, so we're going to we're going to make some modifications here that should make this a little bit more robust, I think. So we're going to change it to an outpost. Oh man, there are lots of them. All right, no matter. All right, that should be fine. So there should be outposts now. So when we generate this, they'll all look like outposts. I believe that villagers can be tasked to attack outposts. If this doesn't work, though, then we'll have to think of something different. Um, all right, let's go back up to the top to player setup. And we'll bring up our old Blarney script. Hmm. So, okay, upgrade outpost to palisade wall. So, copy that. And we'll paste that here. He had 10 hit points. Upgrade outpost. Really? Oh, no. Outpost. Okay. So we'll get rid of this flag A shenanigans. He's not going to need that. Uh, the line of sight doesn't matter, but we'll keep that anyway. The outpost will be allowed to be placed on any terrain. Okay, so this is the upgrade portion. This is setting the armor here. And. Let's go um, outpost, and let's just put this in here. Okay. So let's give this a try now. And I'll load this up in single player real quick. And we'll just test it against the AI and make sure that I get this outpost doing what it needs to do. And then T-Bomber and I can have another go at it. Uh, not Flotagano. We want the zoo. The park. Where's the zoo? Zoo, here we go. Uh, two players. Map size, tiny. And everything else should be fine. We'll allow cheats. Just in case I lose, I'm losing, I can cheat. Alright, Marco, Polo. Presto. Sane. So there should be no sword. Sane. Uh oh, can I not attack that? I think the reason I can't attack it is because I can't see it. Yet. But I should still be able to attack it. 
Tal vez. Oh, well, that didn't work. It looks the same, but it's not. Well, shoot. Correctus. Ein. Sane. Presto. Ein. Correctus. Sane. Ein. Correctus. Ein. Sane. Correctus. Yeah. All right. Swordsman must be the probably the best way of doing it then. Impero. Salve. All right. So let's load version two and check that again. And let's take a look at the statistics of the villager and the swordsman. Um, okay. The zoo version one point two. Have you, did you consider giving them a ram? I guess a ram wouldn't be able to defend itself from a villager if it were attacked. The swordsman is faster, so he can run away. This says he should have two attacks. So he has one fewer attack, but the same number of HP. Alright, T-Bomber, get over here. We're going to try this again. Except my swordsman is going to attack your villager. And um, you're going to fight back immediately. And we'll see if I can still kill you. And we're going to use 1.2, because I can't use the, um, the outpost upgrade trick. Unfortunately. Why can't the bills attack the walls? It is a hard-coded bug. It's just the way it is. So let's test out that swordsman, T-Bomber. Get back here. Let's do this. Yeah, the scripters can't make villagers attack uh, buildings, unfortunately. Come here, T-Bomber. Make Swordsman have one attack. Um, he has two attack right now. I do have another idea, actually. Bonus versus buildings more. Okay. Okay. I've actually got a couple of ideas. Um. Oh shoot, I didn't give T-Bomber Handicap. Ah, whatever. I mean, it, it's fine. We're just gonna test the combat see what what happens because if some pro loses their villager to that thing it, there's gonna be it'll there'll be a ton of drama all right um send villager so we're going to test yeah, it. Okay. The no handicap is better for this. Yeah, That's a good point, actually. Yeah, T-Bomber is probably secretly yeah, building up to destroy me. 
Ya aku mengerti, ya aku maruat. Ya baginda, aku mengerti, aku ya baginda, aku ya baginda, aku mengerti, ya baginda. Okay, let's test. Aku ya baginda. You try and kill me. Aku ya baginda. He's going to try and kill me. I'm going to try and kill him. So we attack pretty much at the same time. And it does indeed do two damage per attack. So as long as the player is paying attention and like knows what's going on, then it's possible. Um, but you know, what if somebody loses their swordsman because it's exploring to, um, to Town Center Arrow Fire? Hmm. Well, we should probably just test it the way that it was intended. They better be careful. Uh, um, yeah, we're gonna re. Yo-Yo thinks one attack, but double the HP, so it's more resistant to arrow fire. I think that would. I think you're. I think Yo-Yo's right. I think that would be better. Yeah. So let us we'll go into version 1.3 again and let's try that modification. Too bad we couldn't make that outpost trick work. That would have been cool. Um, so Toa Toa is not totally crazy. Let's delete this. We tried the outposts. They didn't work. Copy that. Paste it here. Maybe me need more line of sight. Um, yeah, maybe more line of sight, but slower. So they they explore at the same rate, but they're less likely to run into a town center. Always remember Toa Toa. If they can blame your map for losing, they will. Always remember that. 100%. There is too much at stake. It's too much ego, too much money. So they can blame the, the map. They 100% will. Alright, so let's reduce the attack by 1. So we'll make that a 5. And increase the hit points to... 50. Alright. And let's go again. see how close we are. So I'll invite T-Bomber again. So the villager should last longer. He should last longer. Scout line of sight is fine. This is T-Bomber. Okay. Come meet your, test your uh, destiny, T-Bomber. Let me invite him. All right. Where is he? There he is. Okay, so same thing. Let's just test it and see how this does. Yeah, I gave him 50 HP. Huns versus Lithuanians. Is there any Civ? I don't think any Civs get any infantry Dark Age bonuses. I think Celts were the uh, speed. But, um, Team it has been. Maybe Vikings have more HP? Let's, let's actually just check real quick. Vikings. Um, starting a feudal age. Okay. He wants me to come here. Goths plus one in Dark Age? Alright, that could be a problem. Goths are always a problem. Um, no, starting from Feudal Age. And it's versus buildings. 
So my dude has... Oh, shoot, what? He still has 25 HP. Wait, ho did we select... Oh, we selected V1.2. Oops. Alright, T-Bomber, come voice. Let me get into TV voice and T-Bomber can join so that we can coordinate this more easily. Haha, <laughs> pleb scripter. Yeah, I selected the wrong script. I do have one more idea. More line of sight would be too good. Alright. Hey, T-Bomber. How are things in Wisconsin? <clears throat> you still T-Bomber, can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. How is the uh, how's the tornado doing? Uh, let me check. I think it mainly just blew over. Okay. Overblown. Yeah. It's just a tornado watch. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, let's invite T-Bomber. I will select the right script. T-Bomber, there we go. Consider yourself invited. I clicked the button. Let's select 1.3. Has text modification to it. There we go. Are there any animals on the loose? Yes. Uh, the petting zoo, the goats overran the defenses of the petting zoo, and uh, there are some goats scattered around. All right. All right. I like this one. concept, though. Yeah, it's very unique. I like it. Okay. T-Bomber, what are you doing? This is the wrong thing. It automatically attacks. Mm -hmm. Just a misclick, huh? Alright, well the good news is, is that they're actually not... It's a huge waste of time for them to attack you. It's not like they're free wax to do anything. Alright, so can you send a villager to the middle? Yep. I have one on the way. I do have another idea. I mean, how easy do you want it to be to explore this map? Um, Tau Toa. Oh, I see you. I see you. Alright, fight me, bro. Alright, come at me, bro. Okay, looks like you're doing really well. I think you're gonna win. Yeah. So that's good. Hey, no two villagers is cheating. He's just cheating them on. Okay. I mean, I, I was missing 4 HP, but that's fine. So now we need to I'm test. With 10 HP. How easily can you get into the walls? Hola. Uh, let me see. With that thing. See, si. entendido. Farei lo way. Estou entendido. pronto. Can you ping Entendi. where you are si. so we can watch you try to bust in? I'm right here. I'm on my way. You pick the furthest possible location. Well, I can go closer to you. Yeah. Can you bust into a closer wall? I'm right I, here. I have an outpost right here, so I'll be able to see it. All right, I'll go there then. Should still be 10 hits? That's true, actually. Well, hold on now. No. Actually, no, because it's got two armor. So, 
Yeah, it should be ten Why? hits still. Sim, farei no You're right. Good Estou point. Farei no e. Sim, Sim, no e. Olá. Estou pronto. Sim, Sim. Farei, farei no e. Why? You want to watch me kill a bear? Why? Um, that sounds actually really entertaining. The bear is chasing you? Can you actually beat that bear? No villagers allowed. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I can. But the bear will aggro against them, right? Yeah. I have to save him. No, what are you doing? It's already over. This is a test. Alright. I have to. I have to kill a wall. After all that you've been through? Yeah, so it's still ten hits, like they said. Three, that's a good point. Four. Yeah, it's ten. A bear on the loose? Yeah, that's dangerous. Um. So a bear can right. kill your little guy, too. And so can the lions, oh, wow. which you just released. Oh, uh, hacks. Have fun. They're coming after me instead. Uh, okay, so let's test one more thing on this configuration then. Let us... Let's... Somebody try building uh, a town center and garrisoning it with six villagers, and we'll see how long it takes to kill the swordsman. Very good. Give it bonus versus animals, says Yo-Yo. <laughs> okay. I actually have another I idea which I want you guys to think about, but I'm not going to say it yet, because we're going to test it against the TC first. Okay. And then assuming that we get this exactly how we want it, T-Bomber and I will play a real game, which I think is not too far away. That was, an intention that was intentional, so going to gold or stone early is costly. Ah, I see. Uh. Make animals have 5 HP? Nah, because then they wouldn't threaten villagers. So, um, so Toa Toa designed it so that... Um, the swordsman is not allowed to open up the animal pens. Alright, I've invited you. So let's test the whole town center resistance thing. Because it should be better this way, too. <clears throat> Alright. Alright. So you build a town center, and I will run my swordsman into it. Build a town center, and let's say six villagers, because you're going to have six underneath it gathering goat. David Rojas is here, and he says, thanks, nice work. I'm assuming he's referring to Flotagano. You're welcome. I'm, I was just finishing it up tonight, actually. But then I had to do something else. I had to uh, help test this map. Alright, can you ping where your town center is? Construir. Servidor. De grado. Construir. Mande. Voy. Plaz. Agora. Mande. Agora. De grado. Agora. Voy. Plaz. Agora. Plazme. Construir. 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 Presto. De grado. Agora. Construir. Sí. De grado. Construir. Mande. De grado. Voy. Presta. Construir. Servidor. Alright, where's my swordsman? Mande. Construir. Sí. Presto. De grado. He's here. He's ready. Servidora. Construir. Presto. Plaz Agora. Still construir. working on the arena. Sí. Voy. Construir. T-Bomber is working on his town center. Sí. Plaz de grado. Construir. 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 Presta. I have Spanish too, so construir. I have a perfect construir. save to do this with. Construir. Presto. Const, const, construir. Mande. Okay. Agora. So let me know when you have five Agora. villagers. Alright, I have three. Because I actually can't Mande. see how many villagers you have. The vision on my outpost is limited. Si. Sí. Agora. 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 
Degrado, agora, degrado, agora, degrado, boy, degrado, agora, boy, degrado. Agora, boy, agora, degrado. Alright, I have five. Alright, ready? Degrado, Let's degrado, go. Agora, yep. degrado, agora. Garrison. Boy, agora. Boy, degrado. Alright. I guess it's See not boy. any worse than losing your scout. Um, yeah, three hits. Three hits. With five mm -hmm. villagers. Agora. But if you lose him, you can't break into any more palisades until you make other military. So I have another idea. Which I'm gonna try. Let me look something up real quick. Not this one. Maybe a little worse than a feudal scout? Yeah, because he's slow. Um. Isn't there a hero ram unit somewhere? There's got to be. Isn't I? I'm pretty sure there's a there's a hero ram in the campaigns. DLC oh, Karam. Hero Karambit Warrior, that's not what I want. What is 1258? Battering Ram, it says. Alright, um, let's try something. Uh, just because I'm, I'm really curious. So we're gonna... You've got the Gatekeeper defined as 894. Let's define him as 1298. So Gatekeeper will define him as 1298. Uh, just because I'm super curious. Or sorry, 1258. Twelve fifty-eight. Attack, hit points. He's got fifty hit points. Um, name ID. Set a couple of other attributes. Set attribute gatekeeper. Attribute speed. Maybe make him like one. See what the other attributes are here. Attribute move speed. All right. And um, most importantly, um, set attribute gatekeeper ATTR dead ID equal to twelve fifty eight. What are you doing, T Bomber? You're still playing? Okay. Yeah, I'm just practicing. ATTR. Oh. So lightning bug just flew by. Yep. ATTR dead ID twelve fifty eight. Okay. Um, yes, come here, little beetle. Go that way. All right. Speed will make him one. And ATTR line of sight, maybe like one or something like that. Just because I'm curious. I think line of sight is the, no, it's line of sight. And we'll set that equal to one. All right, so I think this is some kind of hero ram. We could even give him like, 
yeah, 50 HP would be fine. Okay. And let me test this out in single player here. T Bomber's quite got quite the burgeoning economy here. So I'm curious about the RAM. Okay. Inside. Uh, no, he is still the correct thing. What? Oh, that's because I loaded version 2 again. Oh, club scripter. I think. That or I didn't save it. One of the two. This is version. Yeah, it's 1.2. It's load 1.3. No! Misclick. Alright. There he is. Pressane, ago. So he's a speedy little guy. Ein, ago. Ein, sane. Ein. All right. Sane. Ago. Ein, sane. Ago. Sane. Ago. Ein, sane. Porro. Puño. Pero mita. He moves in pretty fast. Ein, puño. Ago. Ein, ago. Um, and he sane. is not. Ein, ago. Sane, ago. Sane, ago. He is not attacked. Ein. Ago, sane, ein. By the wolves. Sane. Yeah, the ein. lions have no interest in him. Let's see what the AI is up to. AI, okay, the AI ein, is ago. building sane. the town center here. Comita, uh, ago. One more thing to test. Sane. Ein, yeah, sane. He reappears. Ago. Ein. Ago. Ein, sane, ein, sane, ago. Sane. I guess you ago, could go ago. and like bother your opponent's town center ein, sane. with this. Ago. Sane. Like he would never, he would ein, never ago. die. Ein, sane. There's ago, no way sane. to set the number of times he dies. Ein, sane. Ago. 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 Ago. Sane. Ein, porro. Impero. Presto. Yeah, he's invincible. That's not going to work. But it's funny. Ein. Impero. Puño. Presto. Ein. Impero. You just ran down your opponent's town center. All right. So let's go back to the script. Let's change back to that bad password swordsman dude. I think he's okay. I think he's in a good place. So we will comment out these. And we'll comment out this. Well, let's just try it like this, and we'll make sure that we get the game in that we promised uh, Toa Toa. I think the yeah, the unkillable ram isn't going to work, because players are just going to ram rush their opponent's town center. It's going to be annoying. Alright, you ready, T-Bomber?
Yep, let's do this. All right. We'll do a serious game. All right. Okay. T-Bomber. I have invited you. Yep, got it. Alright, you ready, Toa Toa? Let's do this. So give T-Bomber the appropriate handicap. And we'll ready up. Do you like this one or Mining Town more? I definitely like this one a lot more than Mining Town. This one is much more creative. Okay. Yes! Yes! That's the real reason why I was doing this. Oh, wow. I just, I was like, let's have a bunch of fake games until I get the Civ I want for a real game. I figured you're up to something like that. Oh, yes. Shh. Don't tell him I don't tell him it's a sibling, yo, yo, he'll get discouraged. Okay, we got berries over here. But my townspeople are too ignorant to replant. Condo. Dear, all right. I'll take him. Oh, boy. Presto. Ein presto. Pero ein sane. What's in this Sane, one? Ag, 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 Sago. Sago. Berries are the only food with animals. <clears throat> you mean like predators protecting them. Alright, you got that, T-Bomber? Yep. Pero, salve. Watch out for berries. Caedo. I go, press sane, I go, sane, I go, sane. Maybe T Bomber will do some crazy uh, archers build and destroy me. Presto, condo. It's possible. He has good archers. But I have a plan for t -Bomber. Oh boy. Presto. Salve. Caedo. What do you think of a pond with shorefish? Ooh, that's a good idea. I think I saw, like, um, an original version with that. Like, the previous version that I saw had that. Shh. 
Maybe he changed it. Pero fabulo. Ein condo. Salve. Caedo. T bomber, you built your house over there. I thought that you you were building your town center in that direction as well. Oh, I'm sorry. You need to build. You need to delete your town center and build it where I thought you were building. It now. I mean, I could. No, that's fine. Presto. Caedo. Just get loom. Shoot. I might be in trouble. Venatus, Venatus. Presto, correntus, fabulo. Ein, condo. Impero, ein, correctus, sane, ein. correct, sane, ein, sane, correctus, ein. condo. Condo, Presane, Ago, 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 Comita, Salve, Presto, Correcto, Condo, 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 Impago, Sago, Sai, Sane, Impero, Ain, Ago, Sago, Ain, Ago, Ain, Ain, Sane. Ein Salve, Natus, presto, ein, sane, correctus, ein, ein, caedo, impero, Correct, sane, correctus, salve, caedo, caedo, ein, ein impero, sane, condo, impero, presto, sane, correctus, sane, ein. correct, venatus, presto, ein. sago, ein. sane, ein, sane, ein, ago, sane, ein, ago, ein, sane, ago, ein. ago, sane, ago, ago, Salve. Condo. Hmm. Oh, nice. More sheep. Impero. Sane. Ai. Ago. Sago. Sane. Presto. Caedo. Ai. Ai. Sane. Ai. Ago. Ai. Pugno. Presto. Sane. Ai. Pugno. Mi. Pugno. Con muño. Con muño. Impero, condo, venatus. 
Presto, Venatus. Caedo. Condo, Condo, Condo. Impero, Sane, Venatus. Ein, Sane, Ago, Ago, Sane, Ago, Sane. Sane, Correcto, Ein, Condo, Impero, Sane. Correct. Eight T-Bombers Empire. Condo. Ein. Caedo. Impero. Ein. Sane. 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 Ein. Ein. Condo. Ein. Sane. Correct. Sane. Condo, Prest, Ein, Correntus, Condo, Condo, Prest, Pabulo, Pabulo, Prest, Ago, Communio, Communio, Mita, Salve, Sane, Rectus, Venatus, Impero, Ein, Sane, Condo, Ein, Correctus, Condo, Presto, Salve, Ein, Condo, Salve. Ein. Sane. Correct. Sane. Ein. Correctus. Shoot, T-Bomber has a... There's a wall Condo. over there, too. Impero. Ein. Ein. Presto. Sane. Punto. Punto. Ein. Correctus. Sane. Condo. Ein. Condo. Impero. Ein, 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 Condo, 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 Just gonna come in that way. Ain't I correct? Condo. Salve, Condo. Presto, Sane. Ain't correct? Ain't correct? Ain't correct? Ain't audio. Sane. Salve. Sane. Venatu. Press. Sane. Press. Sane. Press. Correct. Press. Correct. Correct. Condo. Condo. Caedo. Correct, Caedo. Impero, correct, Caedo. Impero, I'm Presto, I'm correct, I'm correct, I'm correct, I'm correct, I'm Presto. Ein. Ein. Sane. Presto. Podio. Podio. Ein. Ein. Sane. Correcto. Sane. Ein. Caedo. Impero. Sane. Caedo. Impero. Correcto. Podio. Sane. Correctus. Condo. 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 Ein. Presto. Correctus. Impero. Sane. Ein. Ein. 
Condo. Salve. Salve. Presto. Condo. Condo. Presto. Condo. Salve. Sane. Caedo. Salve. Sane. Presto. Corretus. Impero. Corretus. Sane. Corretus. Sane. Caedo. Corretus. Sane. Caedo. Salve. Sane. Condo. Sane. Condo. 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 Salve. Could you destroy that gate so fast? Condo. Corretus. Condo. Ain. Sane. Corretus. Presto. Impero. Caedo. Presto. Corretus. Corretus. Ain. Corretus. Ain. Salve. Presto. Ain. Corretus. Sane. Caedo. Impero. Salve. Corretus. Caedo. Presane, Caedo. Ain, Sane, Correct. Ain, Caedo. Presto, Sane, Ain, Correct. Sane, Salve, Caedo. Impero, Rec, Presto, Sane, Ain, Sane. Condo, Impero, Ain, Correct. Sane. Condo. 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 Salve. Condo. Ain. Podio. Pero podio. Ain. Presto. Caedo. Ain. Ain. Rectus. Condo. Presto. Ain. Ain. Salve. Podio. Pero. Pero. Presto. Salve. Pero. Condo. Condo. Ain. Salve. Condo. Ain. 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 Presto. Ain. Condo. Ain. Caedo. Salve. Ain. Sane. Condo. Caedo. Pero. Correcto. Ain. Caedo. Caedo. Condo. Condo. Sane. Ai, ai. Oh, gosh, darn it. Pepito. GG. GG. This map sucks. <laughs> That's definitely different. There's no way that I should have lost a T-Bomber. It's 100% the map's fault. Impero. Obviously. Uh, you see what I did there? <laughs> what did you think, T-Bomber? What does the map need? What do you like about the map? Um, what do you dislike about the map? What would you change? I like how different it is. Yeah. I like it's very much a completely new map. It is a little more RNG, I think, because you like having a TC next to a wood line and a food source is like a must. I think. But overall, I like it. Yeah, I like it. I think it's good. What would I change about it if I were to change something? It's really too bad the villagers can't attack. Yeah. The Gaia walls. Any other ideas about how to get around that problem? Besides the starting swordsman? You could probably buff him a little bit. You think you need more goats? I mean, nah. That's just how it looked for me. Did you get a lot of goats, T-Bomber? Yeah, I had just enough food to click up. And I took a pen full of deer. I bet. Two starting swordsmen? No, that would be too much. Then they would gang up on a villager. Hmm. Something to think about. They don't like Nomad. I like Nomad. The pros don't like Nomad, though. 
they consider it too RNG. So anytime you have an opportunity to remove RNG from the equation, it's, it's always a good thing. Oh, that's right. What about um, giving the players, instead of the swordsmen, giving them petards? Some pros like mm. Nomad? Yeah, I suppose maybe. Salve. Although, I could have trapped your archers in there, T-Bomber. That wouldn't have been too bad. But I still lost a bunch of villagers. How many villagers did you have? Um, the KD was 9 to 9. My villager high was... 9? I had 42 at the end. I had 40 at the end, actually. There you go. Each it probably wasn't over. Each quadrant has two sources of food. Were you close to clicking up to the castle age? I was halfway up to castle. Oh, I was nowhere near castle. I think I resigned at the right time. Yeah. I like it. Does anybody else want to test this map? I've got a friend that they want to test it with. I'm sure that um, Toa Toa is looking for more testing. Hmm. What do you think about hills potentially on this map, T Bomber? So, uh, Toa Toa, are there reasons for and against hills? Yeah, I mean, Tartars wouldn't be that good, but... Oh, the Tatars? Yeah. The Tatars, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't mind not having hills. I don't mind it either. But they might bring it up. They might be like, oh, there's no hills. That's too bad. What about Tatars? Yeah, they can be... It's more strategic to have hills, I guess. I was thinking if I did just, like, one height hills outside of the pens. Uh, yeah, possibly. There's no real advantage to having height 7 over height 1. It's just pretty. That's it. Hmm. So we're quite the... What, did you think you were Khmer? Look at those Khmer farms out there. What's the deal yeah. with that? Yeah, it's not a pretty base at all. Looks and I better didn't than even my base. My milk. Looks better than my base. Alright, um... Well, one thing, as always, that you could do to open up the map if you wanted to would be to make a layer of unbuildable rock terrain next to this forest so that you can't wall to the edge of the map. That would be super annoying, but it could compensate for somewhat for the, you know, for the nomad resources, if it were more wallable. So maybe it's the right thing to do having it this way. It's hard to say. There are reasons for and against it. Each quadrant has the two types of meat, or of food, I should say. Um. I think if you had a couple practice games and this map plays differently each time. 
All right. Um, well, does anybody else want to play? I think I could do one more. I should probably get to bed. Okay. It's getting kind of late. Thanks for but, playing, um, T Bomber. Good games, yeah. Yeah. And I really like this map. So good job, Strag the Tree. Yep. He is the same he is the same one as Toa Toa. He just has a different oh, name oh. on YouTube. Alright, gotcha. Nice. Alright, All right, we'll catch you later. Yep. yep. Alright, bye. See ya. Yeah, the only other thing that I could think that you might be able to do differently is to have, like, give each player three starting petards. And uh, they can they can blow their way into, into the pens. Okay. So this is version 1.3. Let me see if I can invite somebody. Um, I wonder if Silver A Flame would play with me. Ah, it sent me a notification saying that it sent an invitation, which means that it didn't. And I don't know how to get rid of that except without restarting, except for restarting the game. Let me send him a message. See if he comes. He's around my elo. But if you catch a TC going up, then it's GG. Um, no, because you could make the petards do one damage. You want me to try Krizini? Where? not online. Unless I'm missing something. Then they won't kill the walls? Uh, no, because you could set the wall damage to 1. You could, I'm sorry, you could set the wall HP to 1. Those villagers can't attack them anyway. He was in-game invite? I'm not going to invite Krizini. He will destroy me. Krizini is much better at Age of Empires than I am. Petards have bonus versus buildings. Oh, uh, that's true. I think you could maybe modify it, though. Hmm. Let me... I could try inviting Zoe. See if he comes. And I basically just have to post the link to the lobby. It would be sim it would be as though I invited Yo-Yo. Similar. Not quite as bad, but still quite bad. Grazini would actually probably wreck Yo-Yo in a 1v1. He's very good. He's at least 1800. I am not a worthy opponent. I bet the Emu Warrior would come, actually. He's always looking for an opportunity to pick on tech. <clears throat> oh, he's not going to come. Got to study for the Chinese final. I would allow you to play as the Chinese. Alright, let's see if we can find somebody else then. <laughs> Emu. Emu laughs at that. 
Um, oh, okay, Zoe's coming. Excellent. We got ourselves a game. Zoe's probably... I haven't played Zoe that much, actually, in 1v1s. I did a... I played him once on Arabia, and I monk-rushed him. And, um... I had no eco, and he his eco was a total mess, and he had no army, but eventually he did overpower me. But it was a really fun game. I, I think I got, like, 50 conversions. The new Zoe. Yep, the upgraded Zoe. Norton Antivirus 2.0 Zoe. Alright, I am in TV voice. I will explain the map. He's around my ELO, so I can't tell him... I can't be like, oh, I'm not going to tell you what's on the map because you're so much better than me. I should explain the map to him. Oh, he's in the assembly hall. Hey, Zoe, how's it going? Hey. Can you hear me? Uh-huh. Excellent. I can barely hear you. Let me see if I can turn you up. Yes, I can. All right, try saying something again. Hi. Oh, okay, we got him. So Zoe is here. Um, Zoe is actually from Chile as well. It's a friend of mine. Uh, so, Zoe, we were just talking about this new map we're helping Toa Toa test. It's called the Zoo. You ever been to a zoo before? No. You've never been to a zoo? Oh, Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> well, I don't think so. This map looks like a zoo. There are small patches of baobab trees, and then there are small patches of uh, jungle road. But... Most importantly is there are squares scattered throughout the map, and each square has different types of resources in it. And there is a palisade wall that contains those resources. So the resources are animals. They could be wolves, they could be deer, they could be boar. So you don't know. You don't know. They give... What's that? They can give gold? They can be gold or stone, yes. Um, the, the wolves are with the gold, and the bears are with the stone, I think. But the idea is a trip to the zoo. Now, villagers cannot attack Gaia Palisades, so you start with a swordsman. The swordsman, the swordsman can attack the palisade walls, and he can open them up so that you can get to the resources inside. What else? Um, if the swordsman picks a fight with a villager... He will lose one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, the bears are guarding the berries. That's right. It's a nomad start. Good point. Okay? Uh -huh. So, random sieves. You coming? Yeah, I'm... We got time for one more, and then I gotta go to bed. And then who knows? Oh, shoot. Uh, this is what I'm doing. Zoe 101. Maybe Ronald Rage will be online. Here we go. I'm almost done with Flotagano, and it's awesome. I just gotta get that transport ship to spawn properly. I was really hoping to finish it by tonight so that we could try it out in a community setting. But I guess we'll do that tomorrow. Uh, maybe. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow. Okay, excellent. Zoe's here. Look at this, Zoe. He's 1,700, but he only has one 1v1. Okay. Let us ready up so that Zoe can get the map. Yes. All right. Good luck. Have fun. I am not giving you any handicap. I might give myself some handicap. Who knows?
So don't lose your swordsman because if you lose him, you'll have to you'll have to build militia. Okay. To break in. So I got Persians and you got Magyars. Wonderful. This will allow me the opportunity to test something that I think I want to test. So we are helping Toa Toa test this map, Zoe. So if you have any ideas for how to make it better, be sure to let him know, and he'll think about it. Okay. Zoe, hurry up. I'm growing a beard over here. <laughs> we oh, messed no, around with happening. giving players a ram earlier instead, but the ram simply does too much damage. Ari, Mikona. Sahi. Ari. Sahi. Farmon. Ari. Mikona. Ari. Ari. Good luck, have fun. The wood is only near the edge? Um, it's yes. also near the end. It's not only near the edge. There are small patches of wood near the middle. Okay. Ori, 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 Ori. Farmon, where are you, Zoe? King TC. Aha, uh -huh. right. Oh, wow, that bear. That bear is out. Good thing I blocked the bear with my, with my sheep, but I let a bear out. That's chaotic. Ah. Thankfully, I slew the bear. Hey, you stole my sheep, man. Oh, those were your sheep? Sorry. Oh, Salam, Sahi, Ori, Memo, Memo, Ori, Amade, Ori, Sahi, Ori, Mikona, Ori, Sahi, Kona, Ori, Memo, Memo, Ori, Kona, Ori, Salam, Sahi, Kona, Sahi, Amade, Ori, Ori, Kona, Salam, Ori, Ori, Memo, Memo, Amade, Ori, Ori, Sahi, Ori, Ori, Kona, Chu, Chu, Sahi, Ori, Sahi, Ori, Hey, you're stealing my sheep back, Sahi. Salon, Ori, Amode, Memo, Sahi, Salon, Ori, Ori, Sahi, Ori, Sahi, Sahi, Ori, Ori, Sahi, Salon, Ori, Sahi, was a fast game, man, Sahi, Konam, Ori, Amode, Ori, Konam. Let me just delete all these sheep. Ori, Salon, Ori, Sahi, Konam, Ori, Amode, Sahi. <laughs> Just how the pros would play it. Take that, I got one of your villagers. Ori, Sahi. Ori, Amade. 
I have to score. Me Ari, Ari, Conam. Ari. Me Ari, Conam. Ari. Farmon, Amle. You have the resources. Ari. Ari, me Ari. Me Ari, Conam. Bejangit. Amade. Ari, Amade. I demand a rematch. Why you do Demisive. that, man? What? What do you mean, why? I thought I could get my town you, center up on you. you but I, you didn't yourself. give me... I didn't have time to quick wall my villagers. Could have been different if I had quick walled my villagers. I originally started building my town center where your swordsman is standing now. So it wouldn't have been that, that hard. Then they invite. Yep, one sec. But this this also gives you an opportunity to look at the map, you know, and just see everything that's there. Do that. That's actually the real reason why I did it. Had nothing to do with being unable to withstand the temptation to attempt a Persian douche. Uh. All right. You have been invited through the game. Random saves. Yes. Okay, good. The pros also follow the unspoken rule about no vil fighting on Nomad starts. Really? Oh, look at this, man. Oh, look I did not know I, that. It's my time. Persians? Uh, why, why is your TC? Uh, I don't know. Sí. Servidor Voy. de grado. Agora. Presto. Voy. De grado. Agora. De grado. Agora. De grado. Agora. Voy. De grado. Agora. Voy. De grado. Agora. Voy. Voy. Agora. Voy. De grado. Agora. Voy. De grado. Agora. Voy. De grado. Agora. De grado. De grado. Voy. Sí. Plazme. Mande. Agora. De grado. Agora. De grado. De grado. De grado. Agora. Agora. De grado. Agora. De grado. Mande grado agora. Presto de grado. Oh. What? What? Are you all right? Construir. No. What? What's the matter? Mande talar. Presto agora. Where did those wolves came from? What? What wolves? What do you What do you mean? Are you all right? No. <laughs> no. What happened? I lost two villagers, man. You lost two villagers? No kidding. To wolves? What are you doing? You're supposed to get you, you're supposed to get your town center up, Zoe, before you start busting into the walls. I didn't attack a wall, man. You didn't attack. You didn't attack the walls. Could the wolves have spawned outside of the wall somehow? It will win anyway, man. Are you sure? Mande talar. Sí. Degrado. Presto. Degrado. Servidor. Azar. Sí. Servidor. Degrado. Construir. Azar.
Mande. Cazar. Presto. Agora. Construir. Did you take my sheep? Mande. De grado. Construir. Well, uh, if you did, I probably deserve it. Cazar. Cazar. Lithuanians would be great on this map because of the insta drush. Extra starting food. Oh, yeah, that could be helpful. All right, well, if you want to, if you want to read, we can, Zoe. You feel like you know starting with only one villager is a game changer. What? You said you lost two villagers to wolves, right? It's like starting with one villager. What? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Do you? Would you like to re or not? Ah. Because I am. This is my. I'm, I'm. I got. I got it in me for one. One less than ten minute game. It's getting pretty late for me. So we can, you know, we can re or we can do whatever. See? Cazar. Mande? Servidora? Agora. How'd you escape Cazar. that? Presto. Cazar. Servidor. Sí. Cazar. Cazar. Pres Cazar. De grado. Okay, so you want to do a read or not, Zoe? Your choice. I'm not. I'm okay. You're okay? Alright. Mande? Mande? Cazar. Servidora? Cazar. Presta. Mande? Agora. De grado. Construir. Construir. Presto. Buscar. De grado. Construir. Sí. Construir. Buscar. Servidora. Bueno. Talar. Servidor. Voy. Plaza de Agora. grado. Talar. Sí. Presto. Voy. Plazme. Buscar. Sí, de grado. Santiago. Make sure you get Zoe's thoughts um, after the game about the map. Oh yeah, 100%. Ask him Mande what he thinks. Mande grado. Voy. Agora. Plazme. Mande. Plazme. Voy. Talar. Servidor. Talar. Presta. Construir. Construir. Mande. Agora. De grado. Agora. Voy. Eh, Santiago. A ellos. Mande, presta. Sí, construir. Cazar. Presto. De grado. Voy. Voy. Sí. De grado. Construir. Talar. Servidora. Talar. Sí. Talar. Presta. Talar. Sí. De grado. Agora. De grado. Agora. Voy. Agora. Voy. De grado. Agora. De grado. Agora. De grado. Agora. Voy. Mande. De grado. Agora. De grado. Agora. De grado. Agora. De grado. Agora. 
Mande. Talar. Servidora. Presto. Talar. Agora. Presto. Servidora. Servidor. Construir. Mande. Cazar. Cazar. Sí. Sí. Talar. Construir. 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 Presto. Voy. Agora. Agora. Voy. Agora. Agora. Voy. Agora. Voy. Agora. Voy. Mande. Sí. De grado. Agora. Hey! Santiago. Sí. Presto. De grado. Voy. Construir. Construir. Mande. Servidor. Cult cultivar. Mande. Servidora. Cazar. Sí. Plazme. Presto. A ellos. ¡Eh! Guerra. Mande. De grado. Agora. De grado. Voy. Agora. Excavar. Mande. A ellos. ¡Eh! Santiago. Servidora. Pues, de grado. Sí. Talar. Buscar. Presta. Construir. Sí. Talar. Agora. Voy. Buscar. Mande. Pla de grado. Construir. Construir. Sí. Excavar. Sí. Guerra. Santiago. Presto. Cazar. Cazar. Mande. Construir. Construir. Mande. Voy. De grado. Agora. 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 Agora. Hey. T-Bomber. says, block the hole with the mill and the deer won't run away. It's the established meta. Oh, good idea, T-Bomber. Too bad they already ran away. Presta It's too la. late. Voy. Agora. Presto. Agora. Plaz Voy. De Plaz agora. Voy. De Plaz agora. De grado. Construir. De grado. Construir. That's smart, though, T-Bomber. I wish I had thought of that. Presto. Voy. De grado. Agora. De, gra de, gra agora. de grado. Servidor. Presta. Buscar. Mande. Buscar. Mande. Construir. Buscar. 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 Presto. Buscar. Buscar. Sí. Buscar. Buscar. Servidora. Buscar. Buscar. Mande. Buscar. Buscar. Mande. Buscar. Ahora. Voy. Talar. Servidor. Degradar. Sí. Presto. Cazar. Plazme, de grado, 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 de The Moonwalking Villagers, you guys. Yeah, so X Thomas, I believe, is the same thing as Tasmator, maybe? You can correct me if I'm wrong. Mande? Si? Agora, de grado. Agora, de grado. Prest, escavar. Voy. Plazme. Agora. Servidora. Sí. Talar. Excavar.
esto. Servidora, Hola. construir. Servidor. Construir. Press construir. Sí, mande. Talar. Talar. Mande. Sí. Presto. Ahora. Voy. Mande. Construir. Sí. Mande. Construir. Presto. Plazme. Talar. Servidor. De Construir. Mande. De grado. Voy. De grado. ¿Qué rojo? De grado. Ahora. Mande Construir. servidor. Ahora. Escalar. Voy. Sí. Presto. Sí. De, Ahora. de grado. Plazme. De grado. Construir. Sí. Plazme. De grado, de grado, de grado, de voy, de grado, 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 de Plazme, remandar. ¿Sí? Tres por acuerdo. Servidor de grado. Sí, de grado. Mande construir servidor. Servidor, sí. ahora Constru construir. Servidor, ahora construir. Mande construir. Servidora, construir. Presto. Construir, excavar. Construir. Servidor la integrado. ¿Sí? Presto. Presta. Salad. Con Cons construir. construir. Mande. Presto. Acora. Voy. Plasma. Sí. Acora. Acora. Mande. Voy. 
de este grado. Voy. Servidor, Glazme. Acora. Sí, Glazme. Sí, excavar. Plaza de la de grado. Construir. Servidor. Sí, ahora. Cultivar. Mantegrado. Mantegrado, Cora. Tres plasma. Sí, de grado. Plasma. Mande. Ahora. Tres tacora. Servidor. Construir. Servidor. Grado. Sí. Sí, voy. Mande grado, voy. Presto, voy. Grado. Voy. Degradme, a coy, clas de grado. Sí, a coy, voy, a coy, clasme, clasme. Tres de grado, a coy. Mande, voy. Tres, a coy. Mande. Mande, sí, voy, a coy, de grado. Servidor, a coy, clas de grado. Sí, a coy, clasme. GG Zoe. So what are your thoughts about the map? It's too big for two players. It's too big. So do you think that players, right? if um what if Toa Toa increased the thickness of this um I'm pretty sure this is yeah, this is a tiny map. What if he increased the thickness of this border, this Presto. wooden border? Do you think that would help? Maybe. So it it like confined the amount of space that was available. Yeah, a bit a bit more of wood. Blur. Oh. And also, it, I think there are uh, maybe too too much gold and stone in the map. Too much. Too many resources, too much gold, too much stone. Mm. Okay. Do you think that the gold and stone should be distributed among more piles? Like, should there be more pens with each with less gold or stone in it? Servidor. Mm -hmm. T-bombers. At least for, for the stone one. For the stone. Yeah, let let's pile off a stone. Um. All right. Any other ideas? No. No. Uh, I'm sorry, Zoe. I um. I have to admit, at the beginning of the game, I saw where your town center was going up, and so I used I, know. I used my swordsman to delete or to destroy a section of wall that was right next to your town center, and then I led the bears out and deleted my own swordsman, and then the bears attacked your villagers. <laughs> so that's why you lost two villagers at the start of the game. It's because I bear rushed you. So that could be something maybe that Toa Toa will think about. How could he prevent the bear rush or the wolf rush? somebody just using because I didn't have you know I was only able oh, oh, able to open that one box with my uh -huh. um, 
with my swordsmen. So I had to create a barracks and I had to create uh, militia to open more boxes. Although I did build my town center right next to some palisades that had boar in it, which helped me get up. So it was a yeah, sacrifice. That's, that's a, I think that's not my problem. I didn't have uh, bar next to my TC. Mm -hmm. They were too far, I think. Um, so anyway, that's what I did to you. It could be really powerful. If we saw that, if we saw somebody do that in competitive play, though, oh, it would be such an easy win, but everybody would be outraged. <laughs> Except for the person who did it. I don't know. They probably don't want that. They probably don't want to see that. So maybe there's a better way for Toa Toa to, um, or maybe he, he can come up with a way of preventing that. Maybe not. It was kind of a lucky situation that I happened to scout your town center. Um, and like knew where your town center was going up, and I just happened to be there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was. Um, uh, I totally maybe. hit you below the belt on that one, Zoe. That was my cheap, cheap yeah. play. Maybe, maybe people don't don't use the extra resources very well. But um, the boar, the the boars are some boars are like very fast part. So T-Bomber asks, no. will there be a treaty? I don't know. I don't think so. But maybe there would be a five-minute treaty to prevent vil fights. Toa Toa said that the pros have an unwritten rule where they don't vil fight on Nomad maps. Um, however, the treaty would not prevent a wolf rush because I did not, I did not attack Zoe with my swordsman. I relied on the element of surprise to lure the bears out, and then I deleted my own swordsman, sacrificing yeah, him. And I, could, I couldn't do anything to save the bills, they died too fast. Yep, because the bears probably 2v1 one villager, and then they 2v1 another villager. So there were two bears. So it's just something for Toa Toa to think about. Um... Wall in your vill, says yo yo dude, while their TC is going, yeah, but if you do that, you don't have an even number to build houses and, and, um, you know, houses and lumber camps and that sort of thing. Maybe, like, Toa Toa could give them, like, 20 extra wood or something, though, so that walling in your villagers as your town center is going up, um, is really easy and a no-brainer. The other thing that I, I can offer you, Toa Toa, is I actually have a map called Otisco, where you delete your um, your starting ox caravan, your ox wagon, and it becomes your three villagers. And there's a certain wolf mechanic on that map um, that you basically have the choice of going past the wolves and then deleting your your ox cart, or you can delete it immediately and um, and build your town immediately. But if you if you wait to go past the wolves, you'll have access to the fish. So uh, you should check out play on that map. You should check out that map in general. What I'm saying is, is that I could provide you code that would allow you to pack three villagers and a swordsman. Actually, no, that that wouldn't work because, well, maybe that would work. It would allow you to pack three villagers and a swordsman into an ox wagon, an ox cart. Ox cart is way too fast for this map. Um, no, Yo-Yo, because the speed of the ox cart actually scales with the map size. So for Otisco, on a map size this size, the ox cart is actually painfully slow. Either way, you're three villagers behind on Otisco, regardless of the map size. So as map size increases, the ox, the ox caravan gets faster to, um, to compensate for that change in size. So it takes the same amount of time. Uh, I made a, a another look at the map, and there are resources for four players. Resources for four players? Mm -hmm. How do you know? You just counted like the number of gold piles and such, and the number of stone piles, and compared that to traditional Arabia. No, I just look at them and oh, it's enough, enough for four players. Well, yeah, but what if those piles are half the size that a normal player would receive? Ah, I yeah, didn't think about that, huh? Um, no, I think that's part of what Toa Toa says, though. He says he divided the the um, the pens into four different quadrants, mm -hmm. and they yeah, have, they I, have I all the yeah they have all the resources in them in each quadrant. 
There, so, there are five quadrants. Uh, four quadrants, five pens in each one. Yeah. That, that, Two with stone, that's... one with gold, one with boar, and one with deer. Well, oh, this the, one has two gold, The one actually. down here have two golds. No. They are different. So, okay, so Toa Toa says, I actually looked at Nomad and counted gold and stone and then matched that number of tiles. Oh, okay. So Nomad traditionally has a lot of resources on it. And the reason for that is because players may not get a great start. So if you throw more resources at the map, players are more likely to have enough to be able to do what they need to do to survive. That's why Nomad maps have a lot of resources on them. It's not because they're poorly designed. It's because if you've got a certain amount of RNG, right, to get plus or minus 30% um, on Nomad, then you then you shift that bell curve so that even if you get minus 30%, you still have enough. So, for a 1v1, I will, I will do... Three quadrants instead instead of four. Three quadrants. It's like a more balanced so number he, of resources. So you can't have three quadrants. It's a contradiction. That's in quad quad is like a English for four. Uh, uh, would, what would, what would you man. call them anyway? Uh, triangle. Uh, trimester. I don't know. Try yeah. try. Tripartitions. I get quite what you're saying, though. Break it up into three pieces. Give each player like their own assigned, and then give them like one to fight over. I think that's where you're going with that. Uh huh. Uh, that could be interesting. It'd be tough to script. And some maps that look like Nomad, like Mongolia, are actually not Nomad maps because they have normal player assigned resources. It's just you decide where your town center is in your base. And also, each player starts in a specific part. Yes. Yep. So, maybe we can test this one some more tomorrow. Um, I will be sure to finish Flota Gono, which is based off of some place in Chile, an estuary in Chile. So you you have a homework assignment, Zoe. I want you to figure out what real life place it could represent. And. Um, uh, when you will show me the map? Yeah, and we'll get to play tomorrow. Oh, yeah, here. Okay. Oh, we didn't do our homework because you didn't give us the information we needed. Like, I haven't heard that one before. Yeah, I could, sh I could show you the map for sure. And uh, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts about what it looks like. But maybe if we test that tomorrow, we can also test this one again tomorrow. And so we can plot his yeah. revenge. I would like to play a bit more the map. Hey, yeah, for sure. Because um, yeah. I'm winding down. i got to go to bed. Um, and maybe Toa Toa will have like a version of this that he's updated based on his notes of our conversation. So maybe he'll have something else he wants to try for us to try. We're all about making friends and helping people try their maps. I might say that a lot, but new map scripters don't get enough love. I was and kind of still am a new map scripter. Well, no, I'm not really new. I'm just I'm just unfamous and unnoteworthy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it for a little while. Oh, okay. He's going to ask you a, a hard question. All right, moment of panic for uh, for Toa Toa. Toa Toa says, if Zoe rated this map 1 to 10, what would that rating be? So with 1 being Zoe doesn't want to play the map at all, and 10 being Zoe loves playing the map, where would you put it, Zoe? Uh, I think in a 5 or... Okay. He gives it a 5 or a 6, Toa Toa. It is, it seems interesting. Yeah, I, I agree. It's definitely one of the most interesting new map concepts I've seen in a long time. A lot of those guys will reskin Arabia, but I like how creative this is. Buggy says no. <laughs> what? Buggy, are you saying no or are you saying... Are you saying you'd give it a two? That's not very that's not very generous at all. Buggy is miserly when it comes to maps. Buggy is an Arabia purist. Maybe he's just saying no, like he disagrees with something I said. I'm sure Buggy would 
Oof. Two out of ten. It sounds like Buggy is uh, is challenging someone for this map. We'll play Buggy tomorrow though if he's around. <laughs> and Straggler Tree V gives it 111 out of 10. So that's it for me tonight, guys. We will test this more tomorrow. Toa Toa will think about what we've said. Maybe some of it's good. Maybe some of it's worthless. Maybe you know there are reasons for or against why you know he chose the things that he did, and we need to understand that. But more information is good. It's always more stuff to think about. He is ultimately the expert about this map. We just play it and relay our experience and give him, give him some more options to choose from some ideas. So, thanks everybody for tuning in. We're going to do more with maps tomorrow. Flotagona should be finished. And uh, we should have the opportunity to uh, play some more to maps as well. I gotta, actually got to catch up with Pure Savagery to see if he has an updated version of Enclosed that he wants us to play. But in the meantime, I'm Tech Chariot. Thanks everybody for tuning in. And hopefully I'll see you guys again soon.